Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in about three minutes, so I will pause the recording software for now, and I'll be back as soon as I find a potential opportunity. All right, I am looking to buy call option at 145, so I'm watching these numbers, and I'm gonna see them drop down to 145, and go slightly below, which would cause that green line there, or excuse me, that white line there to turn green. So white means I'm trying to buy, green means I have been able to buy. And I am doing options right now. If you don't know what options are, just comment below option guide and I will link you to a free class I put together called the big basics of options. It'll give you the terminologies, how they all work. Don't be intimidated. I know sometimes people are intimidated by options and they can be made very complicated, but they don't have to be made that way. And I approach them in more of a straightforward way. So if that's how you like to approach things, then I'm confident that guide can help you out. So again, just comment below option guide and I will link you to that free class. There we go, it's coming down here some. Need to come down just a bit more. And that's what I wanted, so let's go to 140 now. We'll see if it wants to pull back a bit more. More, I will keep an eye on it and I will pause the software for now. All right, gonna go for put here at 93. Oh, too late as it now heads back down. All right, never mind on that one. I will pause. Have an order at 130 here for a call. All right, I'll pause. Have an order at 105 here for a call. I got close. And at this point, I'm gonna go down to 115. Uh, I'm jumping the gun on that one. I got to see how this candle first closes. Getting a little anxious here. 24 minutes in the day and haven't even really come that close to even getting filled. So I got to be careful of not just throwing a trade out just so I can quote unquote make a trade. All right, this candle will be done in two, one. Okay, new candle will start. Okay. Try 112. All right, I'll pause. Whoop, I am in at uh, 125 here. For a put option. I had to just take the $100 on that one. Uh, went too far up through what I wanted, so I had to go into loss control mode. Um, as you see, their loss control mode does not mean you're automatically gonna take a loss, uh, but I wanted 500 on it, uh, but um, did not get 500 on it. Made 100 on it. Um, so again, loss control mode, at least for me, does not mean that, uh, no, yes, it, you do have losses at times, but it's just more of a, all right, that was not a, as good of an entry point as what I thought it would be. Therefore, I need to, in hindsight here, would I have been okay? Yeah, I might have been okay. But granted, full fairness, I'm ta I'm speaking in hindsight, which uh, is, is very easy to do. Uh, but anyways, didn't get as good of an entry point as what I thought. Had to go into loss control mode and just um, accept minimum or loss. And at least I was still able to, to walk away with $100. But yeah, that was uh, a failed trade in the sense of um, it did not, you know, work out the way I thought it would with, you know, going for $500, but, uh, not, not a failed trade. If your definition of a failed trade is, well, did you make money or lose money? And that, in that way, it was a successful trade, but for more of a trade plan standpoint, 
Yeah, that was disappointing. I, I thought that would be a, a, a nice solid entry, but it was not as good as what I thought. All right, if it wants to go up to that blue line, I'd be interested there. So I will go ahead and pause. All right, going for a call here at 150. No, didn't give it to me. Although to be fair, I was slightly slow on the entry order, so I don't want to play the victim there. That was uh, that was my fault. All right, I'll pause. All right, gonna go for a put here at, I'm gonna change it now to 105 actually. So looking for a put at 105. Getting close. All right, I'll pause. Have an order at 115 here for a call. Okay, I'm gonna change that to 110 now. All right, I'll pause. Okay, I have an order at 115 here. Ah, that was a move I wanted. We're 105 at this point. I'll keep a close eye on it. I will pause. Gonna go for, uh, there we go, got that. Got a put at 160. Can put at 160. And out there for 500 on that one. So took me a while. Now up over $600, which is good. Uh, but yeah, I've been here for 90 minutes and I mean, I'll I, I don't wanna come across like a greedy savage. 90 minutes, six, $600 uh, is good, is good. Don't get me wrong, but, and I don't know if it came across in the video, but today was a very frustrating, very irritating, very tricky day. Um, uh, and it just, it even that trade, it, it, it felt harder than what it needed to be. Um, and I, I get it if you've never watched these videos before, this seems very detached. All I can really, cause I mean, I get it, right? That whole trade lasted right there 25 seconds. Um, but it, it didn't even, I, yeah, I don't know. Today was just uh, a bizarre day. Um, and I wanted to, you know, my goal is $500, you know, $500 a day keeps the day job away. So I, so I did get that and I still got in 90 minutes, but it was just, uh, I don't know. Do I try to take another trade down here? But as I'm saying how it was a weird day, that even, that is an interesting level. But um, yeah, odd day, but I'll take it. Um, and sorry, I'm trying to think. And this is what I mean by genuinely live. I mean, I am in the heat of it, so I'm trying to talk to you. Think, should I really trade? And then also think at the same time of should I trade is, yeah, today's been a bizarre day. So uh, I don't mean to be awkwardly or socially awkward here. Oh, the irony in that statement right there. But yeah, I need to just call it good. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I'm happy, I'm grateful. I don't wanna come across as ungrateful, but it was just, it, it just is a bizarre feeling because it today felt way harder than what it should have needed to be. And um, yeah, but just bizarre. So I don't know, maybe that'll be the title of this, just a bizarre day. Uh, but anyway, look at it. Uh, that one worked out uh, nicely. So $500 there on that uh, little uh, scalp and put me up over six, or not over 600 at 600. So $600, basically 90 minutes, I will take it. But yes, a bizarre, maybe that's what it'll be, a bizarre $600. I, th I think I like that title. 
So that's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, so thank you for watching. Again, if you wanna learn more about options and what you're seeing here, just comment below option guide and I will link you to that uh, free class that I put together and uh, hopefully that can help to kind of paint a better picture of uh, how options work, the terminologies and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching, take care, have a good one. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.